uh, 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 so the, 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 it was an hour 20 and then I talked for what another fucking hour 40 minutes <laughs> yeah all right wait, so so not to put you on the spot but D and D or not well we have 15 minutes do you want to um <laughs> not to put me on the spot <laughs> um it's totally up to you though because like I, it's, it, it, if if you if you don't feel like doing it, nobody's going to be like, I hate Spencer for not feeling like playing D D for fifteen. Yeah, no one on minutes. Reddit would say anything like that, and well, no one would tweet me about it either. <laughs> right now, there's a dude on Reddit pulling up his pants and wiping his boner away. <laughs> He's drafting a positive and a negative response. <laughs> If we do it, he's mad. If we don't, two children mad. just got beat. <laughs> Dewey defeats so, Truman. I wasn't gonna hurt you until I found out no dandy. <laughs> Get over here and stop drinking your dinner. Nine paragraphs <laughs> on why they shouldn't have played D and D. It's like it's great. It's a lot of fun. We have a great fan base, and I enjoy them and appreciate their patronage. But if we if we if we wrapped up right now, we'd be. We'd I be wouldn't fine. hate that. I wouldn't hate trying. I uh, yeah. I just think that we. What happens? What has happened in the past? Should we throw well, it let's, the audience? Uh, let's, let's, uh, uh, if you if you want to if you want to leave it to me, and then you don't have to. You won't be sapped of your of your power because I can say Spencer had to me. We play D and D, and here's why I would say it because we've done everything else that we usually do in this space tonight, and I mm-hmm. thought the fun experiment was doing it without an audience. So if we then don't play a little D and D, I think that's a mistake. Right. Well, like I didn't want to do that awesome rap. That was <laughs> I forced that. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you put on the high heels, even though you're a feminist, you know? I feel like you asked me what I wanted to do, and when I was answering the question, you answered what you wanted to do. Yeah. Spencer, uh, he did the same thing to me. Yeah, yeah, why don't yeah. you guys go to a fucking Black Panther Matter rally? God damn it. <laughs> I just, the, what, the problem that I perceive is that what happens is when we have a very drastically shortened session, right. no one remembers what happened, and everyone forgets further about what happened in the session before that, and then it becomes harder the next time we show up to actually but you know I, we could do it it's fine <laughs> i just i, I, I mean I just, like i was uh, just moments ago i was like re- ready to not play maybe right, we should, i know uh, that's what i kind of was, we, but then i got the sense of, like you're not going to accept this observation this is me as guest comptroller uh, and we love you jeff davis please hurry back maybe we do a recap of last week and just do a couple opening lines <laughs> i'm fine with that okay. all right <laughs> All right. Holy well, shit. As long as I get to sit down. <laughs> so let's bring up Steve Levy. It's the Levy Show. Steve Levy Show. Who's Y'all clapping? Been waiting for him. It's the Levy Show. Pimp if you got, the fire marshal is watching. If he hears the applause, he's gonna burst in with an axe. <laughs> it's the Levy Show. What's Say up? Levy Show. How are you, Steve? I'm good. Any love life updates? Oh I guess, shit! I guess if there are, you can't say. So yeah, let's let's check in later. Oh. Like, give me some time. Maybe there's things. Maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> give right. me a month or two. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That, we all know what that Brandon means. Brandon knows. <laughs> yeah. You know what's up. When somebody says give me a month or two, it, 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 yeah, you you want some time. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the best place where you just have like an extreme crush and like you're just like someone else is in charge of whether you're happy or sad. That's yeah. Great. <laughs> That's like what cavemen must have felt before they knew the sun wasn't a tortoise wheel. Also, it's like the littlest thing that they do that makes you so happy. Right. Uh, no, yeah. Like returning a text instead of letting it lay there like a fucking fart because you finally said something right. fucking weird and creepy. <laughs> right. And all your bullshit is like, <laughs> going to the ice cream museum. <laughs> going to the ice cream museum. <laughs> like, you should not be that happy about that. <laughs> and like, yeah. And like, like, yeah, any mention of a that favorite movie. Fun, and, like... <laughs> it is great. I'm not being sarcastic. Like, those are the moments. That's the and best it's part. Like, you're, it's like... It, like, it, for me, it's never disingenuous. It's like that's like your body is flooded with that chemical. It doesn't make the love that 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 ends up happening later less genuine. But right. that's definitely a drug that yeah. you're on that is like amazing to be on. Where it's like another person is is just 
a god yeah. uh and you're and you're just struggling every day with like whether to overdo it underdo it right. uh, i'm just gonna fucking be me man i'm gonna fall in love yeah like <laughs> constantly coming back to the realization you just got to be yourself if she doesn't right. like it but it's like every every breath and every yeah everything is a potential landmine it's great where are we spencer crittenton it's a great question um so do you want us to play the music i don't think we have that capacity yeah we do play the music <laughs> oh shit oh, wow i'm surprised hell yeah <laughs> last time on Harmon time uh you guys had gone back to the keep to turn in your mission and you turned in the mission and then uh you decided to go get your pay for the mission so you went to the commissary and got paid uh, as part of your debriefing, you had uh, left Patchens with the church and had agreed to meet up with him. So you went to the tavern to meet up with him, but he didn't show up. So Diarrhea Jr. went to go look for him and he found him. And what did he find? Patchens was mad at our group and didn't want their help because they had caused problems for Patchens in the past. And he just wanted to tell them that he was leaving. And leaving he did. But uh, the gang conspired or transpired. They, tr they, they talked about what they should do. They were like, ah, we should probably see what's up. And then Jeff summoned a horse, and he fell off the horse because it disappeared and chased after Patchens. And he found Patchens and was like, wait right here. It was ambiguous whether or not you two were with him at the time. What will happen? Who will do what we'll see? How will be Harmon time now? Actually, now. <laughs> All right. So any any questions? Yeah. Uh, Brandon, you, you don't have any clue, so... All questions would be acceptable, I'd assume. Or if you have none, that makes sense, too, because what, what questions could you have if you have no knowledge to begin with? But... I'm just happy to be Jeff once. <laughs> You're getting better and better at those. That's they're yeah. very exciting, right? It's not like I was really good at it for a while and then completely stopped having to do it and lost practice. And I'm getting back into the group. I'm reaching new heights that I never achieved. I think you are. Right. That's what you said. Yeah. Well, if if we're not with Patchens, I assume I, I kind of picture it as like Jeff got on his phantom horse that he summoned. He rode for a burst and then it it, just, it doesn't last that long. Yeah. And then but, he kind of sprinted off and then he sprinted ahead of us. And he said he said, wait here to Patchens. And I assume like, uh, you know, we would be now the rest of us. Me and diarrhea would be coming up to where they are if you want. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, let's say uh, I'm going to bring back some food. I left the guy where he's supposed to be. You guys come up to meet him. I'll bring back some snacks. <laughs> you're gonna Chad's you're going gonna to go get, get some get snacks. snacks. Yeah. I love this plan. I'm into. <laughs> all right. Well, don't go. F <laughs> cut. All right. I, I, I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> Who doesn't like snacks? Well, I just we 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 haven't been all together yet. So if you if you go off, I'm just scared that we're going to get separated again. Two coming right back. I promise. <laughs> you go. Okay. Do you want right. to get snacks nearby, <laughs> like perhaps within earshot? I feel like we got the guy. It's, everything's about to go down. We're going to be hungry. Okay, if if we go anywhere, we're gonna follow the road in in the direction that Patchens was heading. So great. Uh, and if and, 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 and if we're not, that means something's gone wrong. In which case, it would be important, more important to find us. So we're not with Patchens, but we, Carlos and I are running toward him, right, Spence? Well, you met up with Chad, who is getting snacks. Let's say fifty feet from Patchens, who is told to wait there. So you're now approaching Patchens. And okay, great. Chad is presumably getting snacks, if Perfect. I understand. Patchens. <sighs> hey guys. I heard you didn't want us to help you. Right. And here you are. Well, we owe you help. Yeah. I mean, that's probably true. I don't. I honestly feel like everything I've done with you has only put my life into jeopardy. And I don't I'm worried that that would happen more with your help rather than, you know, it would be alleviated. I guess that's where I'm coming from. Patchens, what church do we belong to? The Church of the Silver Flame. What does flame do? Burns. What does burning feel like? Terrible. Is it good? Well, it depends on the context. Right. But you love your church. 
The, right. the, the, the silver flame is the flame of truth. Flame is a, a reaction between heat and things that it overtakes. The process can be damaging. It, it, it can be uh, helpful to things around it. It all depends on who's getting burnt and what use is getting gotten out of it um the truth burns away at, at, at lies everything gets challenged i failed you like I, I i came upon you and needed your help and you helped us and i owe you and i know that i suck at it like i've been holed up in the church you know looking for an opportunity to do something right instead of the bureaucratic bullshit they send us out on and we encountered you, and I believe that the silver flame somehow made us, you know, intersect. And so I, I understand you not thinking that we're going to be good at it. Right. But we did try, and I've never betrayed you. I've just failed you. I've never lied to you. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the problem as I'm explaining it. Yeah, you're just saying why I shouldn't go along with you well there's a, there's no there's no control group to this experiment where you're doing awesome on your own and i don't want to turn it into a we fight don't, like that. we don't know that that's the case <laughs> i might be awesome hey man we, we we love you you've been there from the beginning you're like our scooby again that's never that's not the question the problem is not these guys don't love me enough the problem is that their love is potentially lethal but what if somebody owes you something what if we owe you like like just because you don't want to accept our debt to you doesn't mean that we don't owe you that's the problem do you have a uh, diplomacy? Uh, diplomacy. I do have it. The box is checked, but there's no there's number. No. Okay, then do you have charisma? I have like a 16 charisma. It says ability modifier plus three. All right. Your words touched him. He's like, you know what? I'm almost certain this will get me killed. But you can come if you want to join the adventure of Patchen's Gem. Yeah. Well, we gotta. Well, we usually take a vote on party matters. and uh, one All right, fuck you. I'm leaving. No, no, no. I'm kidding. It was Can't a joke. Can't leave without these snacks. Hey, everybody. Hey, <laughs> it's Yeah. <Jack. laughs> Oh, what man, kind of I'm snacks starving. did you get? I got a little jerky, and I got these beet chips. What kind enough. of jerky? Bison. So, yeah, bison, bison jerky. Okay. This is great. Yeah. This yeah. tastes really fresh. It's almost like it's a fine line between bison jerky and... Did you just come upon a bison? Actually, yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad that you are enjoying it. That's good. Yeah, this is great. Let us all eat from my snack bucket. <laughs> <laughs> You eat from the snack bucket. <laughs> that happens. You um, really nailed it, Chad. So, Patchens, before we help you, we're going to need to know more about this gem. Right. Mm, 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 it's yeah. a gem. Important people at the church told me to keep it safe, and they said my whole job was to keep it just safe, and that was my whole job at the church, and it was a special position that was different than the normal hierarchy, <laughs> but that was it was an important position. And so they sent me to Roan, a quiet town, to lay low. And then it seemed like it wasn't so quiet anymore. So I'm tr I tried to lay low some more, and then I got jacked. And I don't know who jacked it, but, you know, Roan is nearby the town of Dornester. And Dornester is a, is a, a town full of thieves and, and ruffians. And that's... We were right by it when I got attacked. We got attacked, I suppose. And uh, that's, that's where I was headed. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but... That's why I don't necessarily want to take people with me, because I don't know that it'll do anything. But I got to do what I got to do. Otherwise, I'm going to get murdered. Well, the men that assailed us were hired hands, for sure. They were disguised as banditos, but they were actually, you know, professional mercenaries. So Shit. it sounds like you're on the right track. W what did the gem do? Are we allowed to know that? What? What did the gem do? Yeah. It's a church treasure. He was just put in charge of keeping it hidden. Like, uh, yeah, it's but like it was like a, a, a Princess Leia or It doesn't a have Moses. any magical properties. It didn't anything? glow. It didn't do anything when I shook it. I don't. It's like a big gem. He doesn't know anything. They, they, they picked an obscure turd of a man and put him in the middle of nowhere where they thought yeah. that no one would ever find or look for the gem. And they were right. You and then we stumbled onto the, it and fucked it up. Do you think the crazy vampire lady ha has any connection to that It was to a totally gem? random thing. No, they weren't there for He was sleeping with the gem. Excuse me for a second, Patchens. This guy is a, you know, he wasn't doing anything. He was just sleeping. We had our dumb adventure that we half botched. And then we took him, told him he had to come with us to town. 
down, and on the way there, we got robbed. Maybe I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I think everything's connected here. I, you share that with, I mean, that's also schizophrenics and... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I, a, I'm well, owning I just, it. I just alienated one in 20 of our listeners. <laughs> I, 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 everything is connected. Yes, but to the town past Rowan. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what someone who didn't think everything was connected would say. That's what <laughs> we were just saying. Let's go. The the dot we're connecting is that the men that assailed us were uh, they were they were they were hired. This is like a uh, somebody with the money to make other people do bad things, like hired a gang of people to disguise themselves and waylay us. I don't think they were affiliated with the vampires because the vampires weren't looking for Patchens or his gem. That was an unrelated story. Uh, and, 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 And this is a new one. No one's touched my myrrh balls. Are they too spicy? What is a myrrh ball? I set them next to the bison jerky. You you didn't try them? I'll eat it. I worked really hard on this. I'm not going to eat it. You you made it? Yeah. I said snacks, didn't I? <laughs> Patches, it- I'm going to tell you right now, if shit goes bad and you try the excuse of, like, we're bad at doing what we do again, you can, but not if you don't tell us everything you know right now. If you know more information than you've already shared with us about people who might be looking for that gem, you know, it's... It's going to be way less on us when we fuck up again. I truly don't know. I feel like my job was not to know for safety's sake. I got that impression, and I'm willing to believe you, yeah. I mean, it seems like they just buried this gym deep into the, in obscurity. They didn't want anyone to ever think about it. And you did a great job. That's why I feel like we owe you. Yeah. I feel like the church has these two different functions. There's like the function of, 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 of cooperating with the way the world already works, which isn't good. And then there's the function of purifying the world. And I feel like the people that put you in charge of that gym are, you know, they're more lateral. (laughs) They're more punk rock. You know what? They are more punk rock. (laughs) (laughs) Who was it that put you in charge of that gym? Uh, Just some bishop. Schrader? No, no. And not that other guy. Avisman? I don't even know his name. He was such a mysterious character. Oh, it was Roberts. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, the mysterious Roberts Alright well I pick up a ball To Patchins Onward And then I Take a bite of it And it's It tastes Really funky It's kind of Gooey Ooh. And warm in the middle And I'm like What What did you What did you want me to eat What is this thing Too salty What is it Too salty I knew I knew, I knew Too salty I'm so sorry oh. I did the best I could <laughs> Is it meat? Is it a plant? That's the thing about myrrh. It's kind of meaty, planty. It's like seaweed. I eat, I eat a myrrh ball, and I let the dungeon master tell me how it tasted. Oh, it tastes like it might be too salty. I should probably, uh, I should probably get some experience points for that. Yeah, that. you get some experience points. Because I didn't... You know what you did there? Oh. Kind of DM'd for yourself. Yeah, You're like, I don't I want to critique it, it Steve, bad, but he's a bit improv Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. I mean... We're all just trying to do our thing, and it's great, but it's true. Cue music. Uh, uh, the the uh, the marching. Uh, 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 no, uh, what, 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 Tom, Tom 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 Howard. Who's the who's the uh, composer? J- the swelling music Terrence strings. Howard. No, no. Oh. Uh, the the Lord of the Rings guy. That uh, Howard Howard Shore. Cue Howard Shore as we don't literally cue Howard Shore. We'll get we'll be in big trouble. <laughs> All as right. we as we as we as we, we journey uh, off as we do whatever Spencer says we're doing. You travel for for a couple days and you reach a crossroads and you can see the way to Dornester and also a sign that points to Dornester. You hear uh you hear more not more. You can hear, we just do a quick though while we're if we're walking that far just like the audio of the dialogue rises and falls we we'll do a little montage of sound bites of stuff we're talking about while we're walking. Yes. So like, like balls. I just think that you know if if Marching hot dogs music. are going to come eight in a package, why do buns come six in a package? Right. I, I, I guess it's because somebody might come over. <laughs> okay. All right. End of montage. <laughs> All right. Figured that one out. 
you travel for some time and you come to the crossroads, you see the sign marking Dornester, uh, and you can see kind of down this hilly path of rolling hills, you can see Dornester kind of nestled next to a forest, and, and you can also see what looks like a graveyard. Um, this is Dornester. Oh, boy. You hear the sound of hoofbeats pounding as a horse rides up to you. And on that horse... <laughs> I hope we're getting that. That's great. And on that horse is a familiar face. It's Geffen, that guy. He Geffen. wears brown armor and stuff. Oh, boy. What up? Geffen! We see you again. This is crazy coincidence, huh? Yeah. Wow. What are you guys doing? Well, we... we snacks. Tell them about the snacks. We, we've, 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 we're we've on an... Uh, we're, we're headlong into an operation in which... Who we tell what matters more than before. He points to his, his temple a couple of times and he winks. He's like, I got you. Well, I'm just out on rounds. See, we're checking with affiliate churches to see how everyone's doing. The nearby town of Dornester has been pretty fucked up. We believe they're all on pot or something. Hmm. Well, so you're going there to, to do what? Like crack some heads? Yeah, they're a rough and rowdy brunt bunch. We don't try to force abstinence on the pu public, but if our congregants are getting fucking zooted out of their skulls, I'm going to crack some of their skulls. Zooted? <laughs> so they're ha specifically having a lot of sex? Nah, they're getting lifted, shifted higher than the ceiling, bro. Fucking zooted out of their skulls. <laughs> God damn. Talking that sneaky weaky, that sticky icky, you know what I'm saying? Higher That's what we a, think. Higher than a hawk's nuts? Uh, if rumors are to be believed. <laughs> higher than a giraffe's pussy. I'd have to confirm. Yeah, absolutely. This is the man we've been waiting to hear from. <laughs> well, it looks like you'll get there before us, but Geffen, if, if, I, if I could have a word with you, there may be some way you could help us. Okay. Just keep your ears peeled for um, anybody who may have hired a gang of uh, brigands uh, to uh, uh, go out and do bad things on the road. We right. I'm on it. Okay. Well, that's Away! You have a beautiful horse! Yep. Well, it's always good to get, Geffen will get there first. He sure did. It's nice. Or will. All right. That's not a compelling cliffhanger, but that's that's a good time to stop, right? <laughs> well, one man's non-compelling cliffhanger is another man's perfect denouement. I look, I see a dandelion, and uh, and I say, "Look, gentlemen, huh. the dandelion. It grows its whole life just to give way to chaos, in hopes that its life wasn't spent in vain." The three of us proceed forth from here to the wind and wherever it takes us, but we'll always be together through purpose, like the roots of the dandelion, to brotherhood, to the fellowship of Patchen's gem, <laughs> to the fellowship of Patchen's gem, to the fellowship of Patchen's gem. We shouldn't make that our public name, <laughs> but to the fellowship of Patchen's gem. Yeah, no, we won't say it to anybody else. Yeah, because yeah, right. it's, 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 it's a secret. It's a secret. We're spies. Right, and okay. it's a little gay, but but that's... <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm i sure a thousand years from now that'll be... Uh, what I said will be uh, bad. Cliffhanger! <laughs> it doesn't work to just yell things without an audience, no. does it? Because, yeah, we can't... Oh. Oh, oh yeah, no. Play yeah. the play the gospel version because we teed it up. Except now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been Harmon Town. Thanks so much for listening. Harmon Town. Damn. I've been Brandon Johnson in for Jeff Davis, Spencer Crittenden, Dan Harmon, Steve Levy. Zach and Chris, thank you so much. Shout out to Sarah. Oh, shit. Nolan. We'll see you next week. God love you. Yeah. Next week, we're going to tweak. We're, we're going to make some tweaks. We're going to keep changing this space, but this was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Audience was amazing. 
all 200 of you. 